Dresden is the capital city of the German state of Saxony and its second most populous city after Leipzig. It is one of Europe's greatest Baroque cities. About 30 kilometers north of the border with the Czech Republic stands majestically astride the Elbe River. It was the seat of the Saxon rulers, who lavished their attention on its riverside palaces and soaring churches and left the city with their vast collections of art and antiquities. This wealth of historic artifacts, it even includes beautifully preserved royal clothing, is displayed today in world-class museums. However rich Dresden's treasures and proud its heritage, modern history has not been kind to the city. Dresden suffered the double blow of almost complete destruction in World War II, followed by 45 years of post-war neglect under the Soviet regime. The level of international tourism is growing, especially from the U.S. and China since Dresden is a stop between Prague and Berlin. The tourism industry enjoys high revenue and supports many employees. It's hard to believe all this from the Dresden you see today. It has risen from its ashes and bears few scars from its late 20th century trauma. Palaces glitter, gardens bloom, and the dome of the magnificently restored Frauenkirche again stands out above the skyline. With its wealth of museums, palaces, and other tourist attractions, there are plenty of things to do in Dresden. But don't spend all your time hurrying between these points of interest. Take time to stroll along Brühl's Terrace, admire the river from one of its bridges, and smell the roses in its gardens. Plan your trip with our video of top attractions and things to do in Dresden. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Dresden Frauenkirche The Dresden Frauenkirche is a Lutheran church in Dresden, the capital of the German state of Saxony. An earlier church building was Catholic until it became Protestant during the Reformation. Destroyed during the Allied firebombing of Dresden, the ruins acted as a war memorial until unification when it was reconstructed. After the reunification of Germany in 1990, plans to rebuild developed rapidly. And when it reopened in 2005, nearly 4,000 original stones had been included. Topping it all and as a symbol of international goodwill was a gold cross provided by Great Britain, whose bomb had wrought much of the devastation. The vast interior is simply spectacular. The restored high altar is a fantasy of Baroque flourishes highlighted in gold, and tier after tier of galleries ring its walls. You can take an elevator to the dome for views of the city, participate in worship services once a month in English, and listen to one of the more than 100 concerts performed here each year. Stop for a reflective moment to look at the cross that once topped the dome, its twisted remains found amid the rubble. An exhibition describes the reconstruction project, which was funded by contributions from all over the world. Guided tours are available. Number 2. Dresden Royal Palace and Museums If you have time to see nothing else in Dresden, it should be this in the Frauenkirche. One of Europe's richest and probably its oldest public museum, the Dresden State Art Collection, inside the Dresden Royal Palace, is also one of its most modern and forward-looking in terms of displaying and interpreting its treasures for visitors. Priceless art, opulent court clothing, intricate needlework, even Augustus the Strong's personal garden tools are shown and their significance explained. All the detailed labeling and background information is also in English, and cases housing the dazzling collections from the fabled Green Vault are in non-reflective glass, so you can admire and photograph them from all sides with a clear view from every angle. The original Green Vault, largely destroyed with the rest of the palace in World War II, has been reconstructed to house parts of the collection in their original settings. This extraordinary collection includes masterpieces of gold, silver, jewelry, and ivory from the 14th to 18th centuries, all of which had been removed to safety at the onset of the war. From 1485, the castle was the home of Saxony's electors and kings, and it was Augustus the Strong who decided that the royal collection should be open for the public to enjoy. In 1723, he began to turn the formerly private treasure chambers into a public museum. In addition to the treasures of the Green Vault, the Turkish Chamber, established in 1614, houses one of the world's largest collections of artifacts from the Ottoman Empire. Other collections include the numismatic cabinet of metals and seals, the Dresden Armory of Weapons and Armor, and the print cabinet containing graphic art, drawings, watercolors, and pastels by European artists from the 15th century onward. Number 3. Zwinger and Old Masters Picture Gallery The Zwinger, a magnificent early 18th-century palace in the center of the city beside the Elbe, is one of the finest examples of Baroque architecture in Germany. It's worth walking around the outside just to appreciate its architecture. 
On its south side is the majestic 32-bay long gallery, and flanking it to the east and west are four symmetrically arranged pavilions, the Wall Pavilion and the Nymph and Mad Bath of the Nymphs, with its graceful fountains and mythological figures. Aside from its impressive architecture, the Zwinger houses more of the Dresden State Art Collections. These include the Dresden Porcelain Collection, scientific instruments in the Royal Cabinet of Mathematical and Physical Instruments, the Old Master's Picture Gallery, the Gemmel Degallery Altmeister features about 750 paintings from the 15th to the 18th centuries, among them Italian Renaissance and Baroque masterpieces by Raphael, Titian, Correggio, and Tintoretto. The collection of Dutch and Flemish paintings includes works by Rembrandt, Rubens, Van Dyck, and Vermeer. Number 4. Semper Opera on Theaterplatz The west side of Dresden's Theaterplatz, one of Germany's finest public squares, is dominated by the magnificent Semper Opera, the city's opera house. Built in the style of the Italian High Renaissance, to see the lavishly decorated interior, either attend a performance which include concerts, ballet, and opera or take a spirited tour led by one of the staff, who will share tales of some of the great performers and guests as you tour. In the center of Theaterplatz stands an equestrian statue from 1883 of King John, and at the southeast corner stands the Altstädter Wash, the old town guardhouse, built in 1831 and modeled on the famous guardhouse in Berlin. To the southeast is the Taschenberg Palais, a Baroque palace dating from 1711. Number 5. Dresden Botanical Gardens Dresden Botanical Garden maintained by the Dresden University of Technology. It is located in the northwest section of the Grocer Garden at Stubel Alley 2, Dresden. It is open daily without any charge. Dresden has had a botanical garden since 1820 when Professor Ludwig Reinenbach created the first on a site now, within the forecourt of the police headquarters, nearby the famous Brühl's Terrace. By 1822, it contained some 7,800 plant species and varieties. The contemporary garden was created in 1889 by Karl Georg Oskar Drude and officially opened in 1893. However, it was devastated in February 1945 during the bombing of Dresden in World War II. In 1949, it became a part of the Dresden University of Technology and in 1950 reopened with partially restored outdoor gardens. In subsequent years, administrative buildings and greenhouses have been rebuilt. Today, the garden contains approximately 10,000 plant species, including unusual collections of annual plants, about 800 species, and wild plants from Saxony and Thuringia. It contains geographically arranged sections of plants from Asia. North America, including the unusual Quercus fellows, as well as Cordalis, Nobles, Hamamles, Rhododendrons, Magnolias, and so forth, a systematic section, an alpine garden collecting a variety of European high mountain plants, including Gentian gentiana, species of Saxifrage saxifraga, Dianthus caryophyllus, numerous cruciferous plants and primroses, and a garden that contains poisonous, curative, and medicinal plants. Number 6. Stroll along Brühl's Terrace. No trip to Dresden is complete without a stroll along Brühl's Terrace, or Brühl's Terrace, also known as the Balcony of Europe. Approached from the Schlossplatz by a broad flight of steps, this area on the side of the old city ramparts was laid out in 1738 as a private garden and opened to the public in 1814. The sculptured groups on the staircase represent morning, noon, evening, and night, and the Dolphin Fountain is the only part left of the original garden. Bordering part of this promenade is the College of Art, built in 1894. The Mords Monument, the oldest one surviving in Dresden, was erected in 1553. Below, the terrace and ufer on the banks of the Elbe is the main landing stage for cruise boats. Number 7. The Georgian Tour and the Procession of Princes The Georgian Tour, or Georgian Mau, was the original city exit to the Elbe Bridge and the first of the city's many Renaissance buildings. On the west side is a doorway from the original building with its rich sculptural decoration, including an equestrian statue of Duke George. Also of interest is the Langer Gang, a long wing linking the Georgian Mau with the Joanneum that was built in 1591. Along its inner side is a long Tuscan-style arcade with 22 rounded arches leading to the court stables. Its most important attraction, however, is the famous first in the procession of princes, 102-meter-long portrait of the dukes, electors, and kings of the House of Wen, together with leading German figures from the arts and sciences. Commissioned in 1870, it consists of 25,000 mason porcelain tiles. Number 8. Hike in Saxon, Switzerland 
A favorite day trip from Dresden is to Saxon Switzerland National Park, only 30 kilometers southeast of Dresden. A wild landscape of soaring limestone pillars with views straight down to the Elbe. Walking trails form a network throughout the park with paths for all levels of energy. And since 1898, a little tram has carried tourists between the village of Bad Schandau and the waterfall at Lichtenhain. The most famous site is the Bastet Bridge, a 76-meter-high stone arch bridge that connects the rock formations. You can hike there or reach it by public transportation. There are several ways to get to Saxon, Switzerland from Dresden, by car, by S-Bahn trains that leave Dresden twice each hour, by excursion boats, or by one of the world's oldest paddlewheel steamboats the most romantic way. For an in-depth look at the natural wonders of this park, you can take a Bohemian and Saxon Switzerland National Park Day trip from Dresden, which includes Bastet Bridge, and a trip across the border into the Czech Republic to Prapsica Gate, the biggest natural sandstone arch in Europe. Number 9. Moritzburg Palace About 14 kilometers northwest of Dresden is the remarkable Schloss Moritzburg, an electoral hunting lodge and summer palace in the ochre and wide of Saxon Baroque. Begun in 1544 as a modest hunting lodge, this stunning palace was given its present form between 1723 and 1736, with Baroque statues added on the balustrades of the carriage ramp and terrace. The decoration and furnishings of the interior, including hunting trophies and paintings, are preserved and altered. Also on the grounds is Little Pheasant Castle, an 18th century hunting lodge, whose extraordinary interior is decorated with rear rococo finishes, Inlaid paneling of exotic woods, mural paintings on canvas, painted and gilded ceiling stucco, painted wood and plaster, faux marble, and walls finished in embroidered silk, feathers, and a remarkable combination of straw and pearls. This rare interior has recently been restored by the World Monuments Fund. Number 10. Take a day trip to Mason. Only 30 kilometers to the west, and easy to reach on a day trip from Dresden. Mason was once the seat of the long-reigning Went Dynasty. They made their home in the Albertsburg Castle, which towers above the town and river atop a high hill to climb through narrow lanes is picturesque, but steep you can avoid it by riding the funicular. Founded in the 15th century, the castle is one of the finest secular buildings of the late Gothic period, and its most notable feature is its large spiral staircase. Inside, the rooms have richly decorated vaulting and ceilings, with paintings dating from 1870. Adjoining it atop the crag is the early Gothic Mason Cathedral dating from 1260. It is an almost pure Gothic building, with nothing but its Protestant pulpit, pews, and organ changed from its medieval appearance. The original front entrance was closed to preserve the early graves in the floor. Mason has long been famous for its porcelain, and a top tourist attraction is the Porcelain Manufactory. A tour there not only includes a look at examples of their work over the past 300 years, but a chance to watch a skilled artist mold objects, sculpt the delicate blossoms and figures that adorn mason figurines and paint flowers on plates and teacups. The silver mining town of Freiburg, about 40 kilometers southwest of Dresden, is also home to a stunning cathedral, a late Gothic hall church with the oldest and largest surviving silverman organ in Saxony. The town's historic center is listed as a national monument, 